Hey, what's up, Collection Gang? It's Eddie coming live to y'all from my game room. And today, guys, I bring out some more packages. Um, I don't remember what this is. A huge package. Um, I have no idea what I would have got. It says Alexis on there. Um, I'm assuming it's one hot. I don't know that name. So we got some of that. Um, and then another one. So let's let's check them out, guys. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, you like you guys like it. This is from Cash Money Comics. Cash Money. Um, it says follow him on Instagram, guys. So um, he said he was gonna throw some bonus books on there for everyone that bought some. Um, man, I had some good pickups from that guy. If it's the guy I'm thinking of, I got some really good pickups, guys. Um, I mean, he 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 gave me some of these for a really good price. I can probably add some of these to um. My mystery flips that I do when I sell stuff. Um, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we, what we got from him. Oh, he did throw in a free book. That's a big old book. I don't know anything about this. So he threw in Wizard number 17. I know he threw in this book for free because I don't know this book at all. So um, it had to be a bonus book because I wouldn't have bought this book. Um... Oh, okay, this is like a list of things. Like, it has like a list of things. So, I guess this is like, if you want to know about the comic books and stuff like that. So, I don't think it's a comic book itself. I think it's just like a, like a, um, like a guide. So, here we go. These are actually... So this is actually what we got. All right, here we go. Oh, he actually did throw another bonus book. He did throw in a bonus book because I didn't buy this and I had asked for Batman and I wanted some Batman books. And this is a nice looking Batman cover. So, I guess he did throw in a bonus book. Because I don't remember buying this Batman. I wanted one. But people were buying it so fast, guys. Like, I had no chance to even get one. So, here's Batman 455. That's cool cover. Um, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 12. I picked up Batman Dark Knight's Dark City. Has Batman and the Riddler. I picked up Batman Dark Knight's um, number 453. Got another Dark Knight's. Got The Amazing Spider-Man 367. I picked up the Amazing Spider-Man 343. I picked up the Spectacular Spider-Man 171. Then I picked up the Amazing Spider-Man 333. This is an awesome cover. I like this one. This one has um, Venom on it. And then I got Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number one collector special. So, those were my pickups from him. And like I said, I know he threw in that Batman book as a bonus book. So, cool. There goes package number one. Let's go to package number two. This one looks like it went through hell and back. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. So, hopefully whatever's in here is in okay condition. Um, I don't know that name. So, I'm sure someone from Whatnot. Guys, a lot of things I picked up, I do sell on Whatnot as well. I try to do them in mysteries so people can get them for cheap. Um, recently, I did the Bigfoot set. I put them in mystery boxes for someone to win it. Someone won all three of them for only 75 bucks. so... Um, 
If y'all don't follow me on whatnot, I am on there. Oh, I remember this one. My buddy's gonna be excited. This is my second pickup. Man, he let this one go for a great price. And so I had to pick it up. This is Hell Raisin. Hell, Hell Raisin. Hell Arisen number three. That's a 9.8. It's the first print. Um, It is the first full appearance, guys. First full appearance of Punchline, guys. So this is a great book. I already have it in a 9.8. And I got a second one because it was a great price. And I had to snatch him. My buddy's been looking for one. And I let him have first dibs. Like, hey, dude, do you want this extra one? If not, I'll hold on to it. Because to me, Hell Risen number three is going to be the next Batman Adventure 12 watch. It will be the next Batman Adventure 12 because this one is the first full appearance of Punchline, guys. And if you don't know who Punchline is, I can show you. This... It's Punchline. This is the Joker's new girlfriend after him and Harley break up. And man, dude, she's a killer. So she is an awesome character. I think she's going to be do well. So that's a great pickup. I'm excited with that one. George, if you're watching, buddy, that one is yours, man. So here we go. Last package, I don't know if this is comics or if this is, um, I mean, their packaging is not the best. Like, this is tape's hardly coming off. The label's coming off. Like, they were out of tape, I'm assuming. So, yep. <laughs> I have never seen a package with styrofoam. That's the first. So, they put styrofoam in there. I've never seen that. I mean, I guess it, get, it ends up getting protected. Here we go. Looks like it's comic books. I thought it would be Pops, maybe, but no. It's comics. Let's see what we got. So, the comics are well-wrapped. It's just weird to have seen styrofoam. I've never seen styrofoam in there. So here we go. See what comic books we got. Oh, this is a new person I bought from. I had never ever seen this. So I don't know if this is an old book or if this was custom. And from what I heard, I think she said it was a custom. Because I'm like, I've never seen that. So we'll save the slab for last. Let's get. Let's go ahead and get into the individual comic books. Honestly, I don't remember what I picked up. You know what's funny? When I package stuff. I want to tape it up, but then I'm like, no, because I, I know how I struggle taking it off, and it ends up ripping the whole, all the bubble wrap, or worse, the paper from the paperbacks, so I don't tape my packages up. I know it keeps them nice and snug, but, I mean, you struggle taking this tape off. Well, y'all might not, but I do. So, I don't put it. Alright, here we go, guys. I have a good stack of comic books. It's a good stack. I don't remember buying that many. So, interesting that I have this many. I don't think they added bonus books on there. So, we'll see what we got. Okay, we're down to just one last piece of paper.
All right, here we go. So let's check out what we got. Um, wait, nope. Still have tape on top. And on the bottom. And I did not see that. Come on, come off. And there went the comic book. This is why I don't like tape, guys. This is why I don't tape it up. I mean, it's a pain in the ass to do it. And every time I have tape like that, it always it's a struggle to take it off. So I'm seeing them some tear up the little bag, the bag holder, and it's just like now, now it's now I got to get another bag and board because the tape ruined it. So <clears throat> here we go. This one was number sixteen. Something's calling the children. I think I already had it, but I just got an extra one just in case I did not. So that's the first book. Let's go to the second book. The prison cover. I have this one graded. And I just picked up an extra one. Um, <clears throat> she had both of them up there for pretty cheap. So I, I got them. Sun Still Show number 13. I have this one as well. This is the A cover. Um, good book. Uh, this one was awesome. This was the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. And this is Ghost Rider number 36. I got the Batman Adventure number one. I think this is an awesome pickup. Um, just for it being the number one Batman Adventure. Batman Adventures, guys, like 11 issues later was the first appearance of Harley, but... To have the number one issue of that storyline, I thought that one was cool. I had to have it. Oh, and I forgot I bought this one. So this, I got all five books of the storyline. And it, it was awesome. I had to get it when I saw it. This is awesome. This is Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. I have number one. I have... Number two, I have number three, I have number four, look at that boba, that boba, that uh, Jabba, Jabba the Hutt, look at that, and number five, the, that, that was a cool collection for me, I picked it up, I saw it, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I, I had to have it. I'm like, I'm going to get that book. Alright, guys. Now, here we go. Here's the slab. So, I love this one as soon as I saw it. The thing that got me, guys, I don't know. Hopefully, one of you know. If this label is was retired... Or this was custom. I want to say they said it was a custom label. Because I've never seen it. I've always wanted one when I send stuff in. And I'm like, why do they not have this label? It makes me so mad. And then I saw this book. And I'm like, okay, I have to have it. Because that label, I've never seen. And so, I picked up Harley Quinn Rebirth. Number one, it's a variant cover. And guys, look at the look at the label. It's Harley Quinn. So 9.8 CGC Harley Quinn label. And I want to say that the person said that this was like a custom label for the comic book shop that was doing this uh, cover. And I've never seen it before. So I'm like, dude, I have to have it. So number one, 9.8. 
It has a Harley in the front, and it even has her in the back. I thought it was cool, so I picked it up, guys. Um, but yeah, awesome comic book. I love this one. This was going to go on my wall for sure. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, comment. But thank you guys so much, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.